Me and Canada are on a creek today. We're throwing micro top water Molossi walk the dog prototypes as a mouthful. Yeah. Just look at your eye. <laughs> These things are about 90% of the way there, the boys from Molossi said. And we're basically the first people to cast them at fish. Yeah. We're gonna try and catch some whiting, whatever else wants to hit top water. And a little bit of news from me, I'm now part of the Molossi team. So Briggsy's actually helping give feedback to the boys and helping develop their lures. Tiny little brimbo. Brim? Right there. Where? Like micro right there. Bock it. Bro. Tweak it. <laughs> We're swapping. You're on big. I've got eight pound line, eight pound leader. Canada's got 10 pound line, eight pound leader. And I'm using this yet to be released Let's see. cap and, Captain and risky. risky. Captain Risky? No cap, Captain <laughs> Risky. 641 ULFS, it casts up to six grams. Five to six. 0 0.5 to six. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah, I don't even know a lure that weighs 0.5. Yeah, well. These little ones are five, 65 mil, and that one's 80, and I think nine grams. Do we need to get to a better zone? We're kind of just in like the entrance. Let, yeah. Let's go deeper into the creek. It's meant to pick up a little bit windy in the Arvo after midday or something, but we're going to get some nice calm time before that. This could be good. Oh, is the kayak gone? Oh, you freaked me out there. <laughs> gone kayak, eh? How's our little paddle holding it? In place? Yeah. So it, it did work actually. Yep. Oh. Here, grab this one. Are you gonna paddle too, mate? Uh, Come on. Yeah. Got a ways to go. <laughs> We're gonna land on that beach over there, but we don't want to spook this entrance way. Is that weird bird, bro? Here, try and film him with this. Because this is longer lens. They're the weirdest bird ever here that does these crazy flare-ups. Is it filming? Yeah. Look, he's hiding. He's out of there. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Guess that one. I really have a good feeling about this zone right here. You have first cast, I'll, I'll just film. Gentle. You might have a bit of an attachment, bro. Alright, I'm gonna cast. Come over here. Oh! What? What is that? Is that a flatty? Holy hell, that's a flathead, man. God. I got annihilated! <laughs> That's made my day. Did you just think of, it hit like a GT? <laughs> my first ever top water flatty. And that had to be the psychoest hit. Mm. I'm absolutely blown away. He prematurely kicked off, but I think I got the shot. <laughs> Let's cruise up here, just walk up into this and cast into that. See that crab up there? Give it one more down the front. You like the front, don't you? Well, I just didn't get a car. Okay. Or oh, I kind of already peppered though. What with your kick flipper? Kick flipper? I don't know, kick flipper, man. I have a big flatty GT hit. 
That slower action is pro mark, I reckon. They kind of bloop around like that. Ah, right, come on, let's let's go deep, deep in the snake grass, bro. He really wanted it. Oh, hit, 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 hit. Did you have a hit? I had a hit too, man, same time. I think we've well and truly peppered this one. We're gonna go over to that other reed bank there. It's kind of shallow, right? Which is good, we want shallow. <laughs> oh yeah, on me. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, I think a whiting. Yes. I think it's a whiting, bro. Oh, oh, another flat. Here, take this. I think it's another flatty. What? What, what is that? What is the flatty. Oh, foul hook, I think. A foul, foul hook, flat. Brim. Whiting. Tiny right. whiting. Tiny one. Oh, medium. <laughs> oh, I'm so stoked. Oh, you got that? Yeah. All right. Eww. First to have a whiting on the little Echo, or 65 mil. He's not the biggest fella in the world, but he's the first. <laughs> That's what matters. Ew. All right, man. Is it your turn to hook up? Yeah. Do you want the little one? Oh, no. There's other lures. I could chop off big and put a little. So you can use the same I setup. Like the big one, I like that. You're getting attention from bigger stuff. Yeah, yeah it's worth it. Uh, I just changed this battery, okay? And then we'll head over to that other sand flatty zone. Let's land here. And we'll just half one across that little bay. Like standing on the sand and casting straight in front of us across that little zone. I'm gonna just quickly jump out and have one. Yep! <laughs> it's only a little. It lit it up though. Have I got a brim? Oh my god, it's a trev. It's a little trev, bro. That's the sickest thing ever. I didn't even know they were in here. It's granting. Is that a GT or a big Ultra Valley? It's so little. I'm juvenile looking, I have no idea. Look at it, it's actually the same size as the lure pretty much, and this lure is micro. <laughs> oh, they had it. <sighs> he was just chilling and then went, burka. Okay. Why? You sure you don't want a little one? I'll keep trying. Ah, that's west. Next zone coming up. Pulled up. Literally pulled up to this zone. Let's go, let's go over here. Ah, yeah. That'll do it. Yep. Good. Really? Oh! Dude. I don't know what that was, man. That was something else. We just peppered this little front zone. Couldn't hook anything, but we're gonna 
land over there and try and access that back pond. Let's do it. Most of the hookups have been on this tiny little bad boy. Very nice looking lure. The Canada, he had a few hits early on on the big dog, but now maybe the, the sun's up a bit. He hasn't had much action. So we're gonna switch Nady. So there's two littles here. I've got one little. Oh, one. he's shimmery. Look at the shimmery on this though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's up to you, it's up to you. No, I do prefer this one. Nate a big switcheroony. Tiny little green one. At some point, I'm keen to try and get one on the bigger because it was getting hit. Yeah. So I'll just have fun with the little ears for a bit, catch a few fish, and then we'll try with the big dog. Next thing, we're going to pepper this tip. So I think, should we just walk over there? Or crash the arc again? Let's do that. Oh! Big fish. Spooked it. I've got a fish and it's so tiny. Are you kidding? I've got a fish. Can you take this? I think it's a baby whiting. <laughs> if you could feel the frequency of its kicks, it's like, this is going to be ridiculous. It's like the, actually the same size. It's, as the... it's the size of the other lure. Yes. That is a tiny whiting. Literally the size of the other lure. 120 millimetre wide. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh. Oh, out of there. That was interesting. Alright, have one down there towards the mangroves. Yeah, first fish of the day for me. Hopefully. <laughs> I guess technique in the walk matters, though. Nothing wrong with that. It's a bit slow. I'll do it a bit quicker. Not the winding, but the tweaking. That's good. You happy with that action? Yeah. That's all you gotta do. But you were getting hit with the other one. Yeah. It's just you got unlucky on hookups. <laughs> on me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was a mini wide in again. Mini. I don't know if it'll hit again. We could do one along the grass line though, for sure. Oh, two, three wide in on you. Faster tweaks, faster tweaks. Oh, they might have been brim. Go on this side. Long. Danger cast. On me. That was bigger. It was a bigger whiting, I think. Where are my fishy fishies at? Just think of yourself as a baby prawn getting chased by her. Yeah! Oh. What, what was that? Another Trevally? Yeah, on me, on me. No zone, eh? Do you like the little one or do you want to go back to the big one? I like the little one. Should I go the bigger one? Yeah. Because then my chances reduce and yours increase. I'll go the big one, you go the little. Do you want my one on? Oh, why don't you just use this setup again? Yeah. We'll switch setups. I'll put on a bigger one on that setup. So he's going to use this exact lure that we know just 
catches everything. Do you reckon it's the colour or the technique? It's the operator. I reckon it's the colour. It's just the colour. Uh. Oh, oh, we'll get to the new zone and then I'll change it, okay? Nader on the 65 mil, Dad on the 80 mil. Surely you get a hook up there, mate. Yeah. You reckon? I really want to go white or the rough. That would be sick, eh? I would like to kind of hit it. Oh yeah. But it wasn't like white water. It was like nearly white water. Yeah, okay. Oh. Landed. I'm gonna take this off actually. Yeah, it's hot. Nate is a little bit rattled. He hasn't hooked up yet. He's had hits, but no hook up. I'm giving him my setup with the lure that's hooked everything so far, which is this colour. And to make things even a little bit more fair. I'll let you choose which of the big colors I put on. So you got this greeny. That's pretty shiny, tension seeker. This is the one you were getting hit on earlier. And then there's this, which is kind of like a real dull version yeah. of the one you, you can choose any of those. I'll put it on to even the odds. Choose what you think won't get hit. Oh, well this one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nate has given me this more transparent very dull tiger prawn impression because he thinks this is the least likely to get hit so we're about to see if it was all the lure or there was a bit scary. of action involved in <laughs> tweaky tweaky although i haven't worked one of the big ones yet i'm, to see I'm actually being attacked by these flies there's a couple flies all right so i'll change it over and we've got a new little area here we'll pepper see who hooks up now yeah no dog. is it skill or lure i see a baby whiting that's always good. What I wanted to tell you is that if I was going to choose the colour that I thought would hook up the most, it's actually this. <laughs> because for the size, it's the least intrusive. The other ones have big flash and stuff, so they're a little bit more spooky. Mm. Whereas this is more transparent, so I can get away with the larger size lure, I think, and still get the hook up. We'll see. We'll see, mate. All right. Slow. I want to hang out with my friends for a second. Nah, bye. Oh, okay. You do that, and I'll see if I can hook up. <laughs> oh, it's switched. Oh, yeah, this will be switched too. We've got to switch them back. You have to change the little rubber bit over. Over here, so you don't drop any. Wherever the handle is, that's where the rubber bit goes. What if there is a rubber bit? There should be a rubber bit. Wait, pour, pour fresh water on it. That's so bad. <laughs> Here, put this on first, because you're not going to drop the handle, right? It doesn't. So when you put this on, it goes that way. And then what I was meaning before is don't hold the barrel out when you do this. Hold this piece. Oh, and then... And then do the last final little tighten. Just change battery on the close-up cam, which I have no idea if this is even going to look good, but... I'm attempting to double film this one with a more narrow field of view and this one with the ultra wide. So the ultra wide should capture like working the lure and stuff as well as the hit. So hopefully this thing is actually facing the lure and I can zoom in on the hit and get a little top water action. You stand in that muck and you do your cast. Already in movement. Already just diving. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Come on. Come on, bro. You can slow it down a little. So it kicks out a little bit more like that. Alright. Free for all. Ooh. Ooh. Squishy. Anaconda. Tiger snake. Imagine. They like it. Water. I'm going to fast wind it here, look. Yep! I was fast winding it. So it's going to be like a tailor or something? I think it's a winding. 
<laughs> Bro, a good size, big, bigger, like a bit bigger. Can you hold this? Yeah. I was just winding it in quick on the surface and it went boom. Skitsy whiting. He just went into the grass. What a little Jimmy. All right, so that was just fast line. <laughs> Count to seven on your tweaks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because it'll kick out one way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And because it's odd, it'll kick out the other. Oh, okay. So odd numbers on your tweaks for pauses. Go out there. On me. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think it's a flatty. Go. Yep. Oh, I think it's a flatty, bro. Yes. Can you film on this once you want yeah, yeah. it? I'm pretty sure that's a flat skull. What's it doing? Have I hooked it in the side? Maybe. Hope the gill rack doesn't touch. It's only eight pound. Easily, so. Is this a flatty or a whiting? Tips. Hooked correctly. If it's a whiting, I think it's rather large. <laughs> like 30 centimetre white. It's a whiting! Oh, it's a huge whiting! <laughs> Did you see how far out it hit me? Yeah. Bro! Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's more stuff going on. That's a large whiting, bro. Look at him! That's a horse of a whiting. It actually looks like a horse. Look at its head. Yeah. Uh, oh, funky. All right. Let's measure that because I actually think that's a 35 centimeter whiting. I think my biggest was 37. Thirty-five? Oh, I don't reckon. You don't reckon thirty-five? Twenty-eight. Twenty, bro. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Thirty-two. Exactly thirty-five centimeter. Yeah. Thirty-five centimeter whiting on the eighty mil Echo. The color that you chose that wouldn't hook up. <laughs> thirty-five centi. What a beautiful fish. He's out of there. Hey everybody, thank you. That was amazing. Enjoy the rest of your day. Wow. Where's my fish? Oh. One. What's shaking? Oh, it's a minute. Come up here on the grass. Dude, you have to cast soft. Duh. It's gonna be fine. This on. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And we got the we got the wind going that way. So that was at the end of your cast, last cast, that loop. All right, here we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Huh? We're gonna move spot, we're gonna head over to the next little flat, see what lurks there. Crocs are quite good for kayak, the drainage. This is what we were casting over, I'm just looking at it. It was like a mixed muddy sand flatty kind of zone where that whiting was cruising and he was out in the deep, eh? He was yeah. way out there. So we're gonna run into the edge here instead of going around 
the cars and we might tow the yak. Did you see that mullet? <laughs> We're going to pull the yak over the land to the other side so we don't disturb that tip over there. There? Yeah. Did you just sack it? Actual. Oh. Skitty. We're jealous, but we only got one pair of sunnies. Nady about to go into very nice zone for the eyeballs. Oh, wow. With the blinders. Is that going to help you hook up, mate? Yep. You got to get one now. Look. I'm going to give you five casts before I cast. Oh, where should I cast? Cast along the reeds. Beautiful cast. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, uh, you've had five casts. Dad casting. Oh, yeah. It snagged me. The hit snagged me. That was a flatty, I think. The way it hit. It was like that first flatty. Just cast from there. We go like out there. Hit, bro. Same spot. All right, we walk out and we'll make our way to that island. Oh. That grass island. Oh, big hit, bro. Yep. I think of lighting. And looks like it's coming in sideways. They always come in sideways. You take this one. Oh, can you do double hand? Yeah. Never. Oh, majorly foul hooked, but a whiting nonetheless. I feel like I've caught a few, fair few fish. You have. What are we on? I think you're on like six, seven. That's pretty good. Little cruise lord. I hooked him like way over there. Yeah. All right, what are you feeling, mate, with your little Louie? You still happy? Because yeah. the because the waves. Is it because the waves? I don't know. Mate. If it's wavy, you can just sort of slow it down. So your winding's too quick. I can see straight away your winding's twice as fast. I do half that speed winding. It'll. Yeah. The way this is working is you tweak it, and it kicks to the side and then it kicks to the other side, right? Yeah. But if you're winding too quick, it kicks, kicks, kicks like this and it stays straight. So you have to let it have a slow enough wind that it can kick out. Can't stay here. Oh. Hit. Yeah. Come on, he's on you. Oh. Oh, he's still there. I can see him. Really? Because yeah. he got sunnies. Keep tweaking. You'll take anything at the moment, bro. You have no size requirements. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big it. Big it. Whiting. 
He's on a little. Oh, you know what, how's he? He might be foul hawk again. Do you know what I think? What? I think you should put on a big one. That's my honest opinion. Did he get eaten? Why is it so heavy yeah, all of a sudden? Really heavy. Uh, it must be side hooked. Because it looked tiny. Unless it... Oh, it's big. It's big. What do you mean? I can see it. What is that? Oh, it must be a floody. That's a bloody floody again. Oh, that's a deep. Oh, no. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, he's coming at us. Flaring up. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> He's a skids little guy. Come on. Wow, pretty one. He's doing cartwheels. Come here, buddy. You have double. You have two fish. Oh my god, I I had a white in and a flathead tried to either eat the white in or eat the lure. What? <laughs> Can he hold my rod? I'm not gonna hold him up or anything. Oh he might be alright. The flatty was just holding on to him, like sucking on the yeah. whiting. It wasn't just actually fully hooked. Alright, let's see how he goes. Oh, he looks fine. He's gonna yeah, be fine. Yeah. He's just slowly swimming off. Already back with friend. Did a mate show up? Yeah. <laughs> Ray. Hey? Ray. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> you won. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> Are you rattled yet? Yes. Because <laughs> I know I'm not doing it bad. You're not doing it bad. Let me see. Let me see what you're doing. <laughs> Go. Oh, I do tip up a little bit more. You see how yours is diving a little bit too much? Keep that tip a little bit higher. It's subtle things, man. And I'll be working it quicker. On that size lure, I'll be like, tweet, 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 tweet. And then pause. Tweet, 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 tweet. Send it in here. Tweet, 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 Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and pause. Tip up more, so it's actually kicking. Oh, bro. Do you like getting tips on how to work the bloody lure, mate? <laughs> That's all on film, though. The tips on how to work it, and then you instantly hook up. That's amazing. You have to hold that up. That's your first fish. <laughs> it's like actually so small. He ain't, the fish he ain't big. Could you please appreciate I know, the tips? Thank you. <laughs> Nada. <sighs> first fish of the day and it's like it doesn't matter the it's size. massive it's massive it's, it's <laughs> fine you actually got one that's your first ever top water whiting bro yeah i'm very proud of you you stuck with it it's been a good few hours too and you finally got one <laughs> nadia's little whiting Cruising. Finally. <laughs> we'll go back and regroup. We're having a little regroup, and before I change battery, I'm actually going to change lure. Are you happy with your lure? Yes. 100? Well, do you think this one's the best out of all of them? But to be honest, all of them have a lot of transparency, and they're probably fine. What are you putting on? It depends what you put on. I'll just show what lures we ended up choosing. Kanada has just chosen my lure once again. <laughs> Why do you keep just taking my lures? Dude, they're good. Briggsy, an unthrown lure so far. It's pink tiger prawn with a little yellow on the chin. Ah, uh, this is the smaller, so this is a 65 mil. Oh, that's 80 mil. We're just going to paddle around the corner. Little brim there. There? Yeah. A few fish getting around here. Little one. Yeah. Little mullet. That's a good sign. Brim.
You alright? Did you get a wind knot? Yeah. Sorry? It's not a knot yet, it's just a loop. Oh, no. oh. So when you have that... Straight, cast it out and show it when did. It might catch, but I don't think it will. If you do soft casts, so... I'm going to do a gentle. Got it. Did you see that? Yeah. Yep. It's just a little lighting. Still, it's one on the pink. He's the little one too. Like, possibly smaller than the small one. <laughs> Stoked. It's so tiny. It's really little. <laughs> They trip out a little bit in the whiting. They kind of don't want to hang, like they come back to your foot and stuff. All right, well, my vibe is we crash on that island and then 360 around it, cast all around. Maybe we'll head out and then cut straight into it, not to disturb too much zone. On. Yeah, I watched it chase it down. I watched it chase it down, bro. That is sick. Another whiting. Do you know? Oh. What's the number one rule of fishing? Don't cast if there isn't cameras wrong. No, that's the number um, one rule of YouTube. Oh. What's the number one rule of fishing? Don't let the land go loose. No, 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 no. that's wind not rule. A, B, C. Always be casting. <laughs> you were teabagging. Briggsy had one on the way back to the ark. Chase down. We're heading to that island. Wind's picking up. Could be raking. It's definitely picked up now. Big change of wind direction. So excuse the noise. We'll just have a few quick casts around here. Oh, where is that? The chop can be really good for hits. No, no, it's like, it flares them up. There's less hesitation. Oh, huge. Where? Huge. Yep. Oh. Good fish. I think it's a flatty. I think it's big. I think it's a big flatty. <laughs> you hold this one? Yeah, yeah. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh my God. It's a good whining. Oh, that's a good whining. All right, what I'm gonna say is, I'm not sure if he's the thing that first swirled on it. Cause the thing that first swirled on it was like, large swirl. Biggest one of the century, brand. Oh, well, it's not the biggest, but he's a good one. Like, he's over 30. Should we measure him? Just to know? He's not as big as the other. I'd say he's like 33. Well, let's just check because I am a bit of a guesser. <laughs> that tail is on 34. So he's a centimeter shorter. Good fish. Yeah, good. Find a bigger just to finish things off. You just got a big one. No, a, a bigger lure because the wind's picked up. So, what I'm going to do, Nadie, is I'm going to put the gully on your head. So, you just keep peppering. I'm going to change to a bigger lure. Careful. Good angle. Is that at a good angle? Nadie? Just on the edge of the uh, wind.
run. Don't run. It's right here. It's okay. You don't oh. Turn up, turn up. No, 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 no. Just keep it, keep it chill. Keep everything chill. That's huge, bro. Canada. Canada. Bro. Walk it over, walk it over. That thing is huge, bro. So this is the biggest whiting I've ever seen. I actually think it's 40. Hold it, lad. Just hang on, just hang on. That is a I've never seen one that big. Let's put him back in the water and we'll measure him. That thing is a beast. 40. 40. Exactly 40. Yeah, he's exactly 40 centimetre. Okay. That was huge! We're heading to a secluded zone. I'm putting the camera away so it doesn't get like completely smoked. Nate is smashing some cake. I just ate some beef jerky. We are out of the wind, apparently, and possibly heading back. It's just so windy now. Where we were before took like 15 minutes to get from there to here, which usually should take one minute. <laughs> so it's gonna be a gnarly paddle back. Canada, you got the biggest white in I've ever seen. Canada has big fish energy, I think. Uh, you do, eh? Yeah. Somehow he just manages to catch big fish when he goes Queenie. fishing. GT. Whiting. Plenty of GT whiting. Yeah. All decent. The whiting, the biggest I've ever seen. That was a sick first session on the lures. I had the time of my life casting top water. It's the funnest thing in the world, watching fish come up and smash your lure. Such a cool style of fishing. I hope you all enjoyed the film. Cheers, Canada, for coming. Yeah. Big dog, 40 Make centimeter. You. I kind of had to talk Canada into coming. Nah. A little bit. I was coming. You would. You would be. Been... Are you stoked you came? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> I was being. We're going to be casting in the hot sun all day, which yeah. doesn't sound too appealing. So Canada was like, oh, I don't know. But he knows now. Yeah. See you next time. You. You.